Hey, it's Mike here. And today vegans are actually being told to give up their soy milk and instead drink cow's milk to help the environment. Yes, this is gonna be an interesting one. The official sounding Sustainable Food Trust in the UK says that due to the rainforest impact, quote, vegans and others who buy milk substitutes made from soya, which is how British people say soy, are also harming the planet. And that according to a new report, quote, they would do better to switch to milk from cows and especially cows traditionally grazed on grass if they wanna help make a more sustainable planet. So should vegans quit being vegan and drink cow's milk in order to save the planet? We're gonna look at the research, look at the bigger picture here especially because there's some very narrow-minded, detail-oriented thinking going on here that we're just gonna have to investigate. So I went deep into the soy industry and crunched some numbers with UK soy consumption and soy milk usage as well. So I'm going to try and stay sane. Let's do this. First of all, Yahoo News picked this up, which is what people have been throwing around their social media. That leads to the official page on the Sustainable Food Trust website, which makes that claim. And then behind that, they mention a report. We're going to get into the report. But first, I just want to mention the biases going on here, including my own. First of all, we have the founder of this organization being a dairy farmer and also one of the authors of the report, being majorly entrenched in dairy. So that's worth noting, but then on the other side, you have me who is vegan and just doesn't like the idea of consuming cow's milk. So we're gonna see who has presented the better case here, who is using the better logic. That's what should be paid attention to. Okay. All right, let's hop right over to the Amazon rainforest, investigate soy, and just get a picture of what's going on here. I've said it before and I'll say it again. From multiple reports, it appears that about 80% of Amazon destruction is driven by livestock, by cattle ranching, clearing land to graze, but also clearing land to grow feed, which does include soy. So you could see why someone would think that soy has a huge impact alone, but again, 80% is connected with cattle ranching or growing meat for people to eat. That is from a bovine, 80%. And what about all those fires that were happening? Yeah, it appears that they were primarily set by cattle ranchers. They don't appear to make any compelling claims that a large portion of that soy is towards soy milk, but maybe maybe it is. Maybe out of that 20% remaining Amazon destruction or all that soy, maybe it's all going to soy milk. Uh, well, the reality is, to echo what Yale says here, quote, 80% of Amazon soy is destined for animal feed. Smaller percentages are used for oil or eaten directly. And since I was in the US, I was curious to refresh myself on the numbers and directly from the soy check off, it appears that yeah, about 80% of soy is technically made into soy meal and 20% is oils, the fats that go into various products. But get this, 97% of that soy meal goes to feed animals. So yeah, roughly 80% of soy mass is given to animals. It's important to talk about the whole world here because this demand, this claim that vegans should get off soy milk is being spread to the whole world, but they're talking about the UK here, so let's focus on them for a second. Well, according to the Food Climate Research Network, which is not a vegan organization, it appears that over 90% of the soy in the UK is fed to livestock, so it's worse than other areas of the world, including the US and the Amazon itself. They say that other approximately 10% is used for food, but then of that only 1% percent is eaten directly or eaten in the form of things like tofu and soy milk. But that was from 2013. Things have changed. But in 2017, more recent data, they say that there's only been negligible changes. But it got me wondering if I calculated it from the outside based on UK soy milk consumption, what number would we get? According to Statista, 92 million liters of soy milk were sold in the UK, which is up. And of that, let's just have a fair number. A fair fraction would be about one sixth of that liquid volume is actual soybeans. That brings us to about 15 million kilograms or 15,000 metric tons of soybeans, which sounds like a lot. But due to that 90 plus percent massive voracious appetite for meat and therefore livestock's consumption of soy, the UK consumes about 3.8 million metric tons of soy a year. And so if we're gonna get a percentage in there, we're talking about 0.39% of the UK soy being used for soy milk. And this is where it gets worse of the 90% that is fed to livestock. The number two position in terms of consumption right behind chickens that are grown for meat for people to eat the bodies of, we have dairy. 
Number two. <laughs> and yes, it is true that the majority of soy in the UK is imported from South America. It is worth mentioning though that the majority of that South American soy imported to the UK comes from Argentina where the Amazon isn't. Yeah, 14% comes from Brazil, which is notable as of 2018 though. They do specify it's preferable to eat grass fed and we're gonna get into the environmental impacts of grass fed in a little bit here. But let's look closer at this report. It was co-authored by a sustainable food trust guy, but more importantly, we also have the co-author author who seems to be very entrenched in the dairy industry that wrote a book called Feeding the Dairy Cow. It goes without saying that those who are deep within the dairy industry are generally threatened by the growing share of plant milks that are eating away at their profits. Who knows what's really going on here? And that doesn't mean that what they're saying is wrong in the report. But what are they saying? They say it seems reasonable to assume that the yield of dairy cow milk in Europe is between four and 11 times higher than the yield of soy milk produced directly from soybeans, depending on the extent to which soybean meal is used in dairy cow nutrition in different regions. So they're saying something that is really not not surprising and shouldn't mean as much as they're making it out to mean. Yes, it takes more soy to make soy milk than it does to make cow's milk. Is that a major, is that a major accomplishment? I mean, as one commenter, Ian Somerville put it, that's as ridiculous as saying that making soy milk is a more efficient use of grass, which it is because it doesn't use any at all. But I wanna make one point clear here. In terms of thermodynamics, if you're trying to get the most you can from soy, from a bunch of soybeans, if you're going to give it to a cow to then make into soy milk, you're going to end up with less milk than if you were to make soy milk out of it directly because that's how thermodynamics work. You know, you can't feed that through a calorie burning system and expect more to come out. But the main point here is that they cite a report that appears to make no environmental assessment of the actual impacts, full on impacts of soy milk versus cow's milk. They merely say that one uses less soy than the other. And I, <laughs> I sure hope that a soy product would use more than a non soy product. However, in general, in terms of meat especially, you are going to be consuming way more soy by eating animals than you would by eating soy directly. It's just the way our food system currently is, which is ridiculous. And when their claim is give up soy milk to help the environment, the question then becomes what is actually best for the environment? And we have to then look at exactly that, the comparison between soy milk and cow's milk. And thankfully that actually has been done before. I mentioned this recently from this BBC article based off an Oxford study. You can see that we're talking about cow's milk producing three times more emissions than soy, eight to 10 times the land use roughly, and way, way, way more water. And they'd probably be going, oh, Mike, that includes all of the the conventionally produced grain fed dairy and it doesn't just look at grass fed, which we're telling people to opt for. First of all, they're not telling people to not eat grain fed cows. They're just saying it's better to eat the grass fed. So that's a little bit of hypocrisy right there. But in terms of grass fed, looking at direct measurements from the cow, Grass fed appears to release three and a half times as much methane as grain fed cows do. And for those that aren't aware, methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas, approximately 32 times as powerful as CO2 over a hundred years. A lot of people argue a hundred years is too long. So 10 to 20 years, we're talking about like 90 times as powerful of a warming agent as CO2. And especially considering that only 45% of that CO2 makes it into the atmosphere because we have the ocean sucking it up and trees sucking it up. but pretty much all of the methane is making it into the atmosphere that is released. So methane is a huge one. And let's use a little bit of logic here. If you were going to switch from soy milk as a vegan, would you quit being vegan to choose cow's milk? Looking to this chart again. Uh, no, it looks like there's other options and all of the options are better in all respects. I mean, you could go to oat milk, which is growing massively and is super delicious. And you would have a way lower impact on the environment and that could be grown locally there. They grow oats in the UK. But we have to keep a level head and ask if the soy that is currently being drank or if we switch to soy milk in general on a larger scale, will the Amazon actually be hurting for it? And the answer is, Probably not. First of all, again, we have that 0.39%, which is really quite negligible. And second of all, if you were to switch all 70 liters per year that are drank by the average person in the UK of cow's milk to soy milk, that would still only amount to about 19% of the soy that is being used by the country currently. So again, livestock would still dwarf it. And perhaps more importantly, there has been a soy deforestation moratorium in the Amazon for quite some time. So there's gonna be less Amazon destruction from soy than 
than say livestock. Then you have to consider the notion that people care more about where their soy comes from when they eat a soy product directly than when it is hidden in the supply chain behind animals that are fed it. And one good example of that is you can go to viva.org.uk and you can see the list of statements of various soy selling companies. And as you can see, many of them say they don't get their soy from South America. So, so we can shift that very smaller specific supply chain of soy milk a lot faster than the entire 90 plus percent of livestock feed. So in conclusion, well, you might be able to lower your soy consumption by switching to cow's milk. That is not a real metric of how much damage is being done to the planet. It's clear when you go head to head cow's milk versus plant milk, cow's milk loses, it emits more. Grass fed emits a ton of methane, which accelerates global warming. And that methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas. This is absolutely not a solution. And the amount of soy that is going into soy milk currently in the UK is abysmally low compared to dairy and other livestock feed. So they should be turned the finger around at animal products. However, I guess if people switch from soy milk to cow's milk, they would be consuming a lot more saturated fat, which would then increase the risk of cardiovascular disease and probably kill them earlier and then lower their carbon footprint. That's the only way any of this makes sense. And I will also say in terms of the cow, in order to produce milk, they have to be continually impregnated. We have all those calves. It's the veal industry, the veal industry and the beef industry, which have massive carbon footprints as well and consume a lot of soy. So this is lose, 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 lose in terms of of the sustainable food trust. You have lost my trust, trust. So this institute should retract their statement telling vegans and other people to give up soy milk for cow's milk or just acknowledge that they make claims based off horrible information and logic. All right, that's it for today. Feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know down below what you think about what you think about all this and just some funny comments. Why not? Do all that good stuff. Share this video in response to anybody that shared those little Yahoo articles and stuff because I want to see the reaction. You probably want to see the reaction. So, all right, see you next time.